Ethereum is the second best cryptocurrency in the world, and due to its popularity, everybody looks up to its performance in the crypto market. Due to which, it catches the attention of every person. More and more people participate in this network. But how exactly to do it? And the answer is Ethereum mining. By mining Ethereum, you can participate in the Ethereum network as well as contribute to its performance in crypto market. So in today's video, we will focus on Ethereum mining and explore its concept. Hey everyone, I'm Shaoli and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on Ethereum mining. In this video, we will explore Ethereum mining and will go through some of the fascinating concepts and components revolving around it. First, we will have an introduction to Ethereum. Then, we will understand what is Ethereum mining. Then, we will explore why should we mine Ethereum. We will look into the types of Ethereum mining. And then, we will understand how the Ethereum mining process works. Then, we will explore how exactly to mine Ethereum. Then, we will discuss Will the proof of stake transaction kill proof of work? And then finally, we will find out is mining Ethereum profitable? So, without doing much ado, let's get started with the video. Let's bring you up to speed on Ethereum. Ethereum is defined as a blockchain based computing platform that enables its developers to build and deploy decentralized applications and make sure all the transactions are cryptographically secure in the network. Ether is the cryptocurrency of Ethereum, used to build decentralized applications, smart contracts, and make standard peer-to-peer -peer payments. Ether basically acts as fuel for the Ethereum network. It tracks and facilitates all the transactions. So that brings us to what is Ethereum mining. In simple words, Ethereum mining is a process of creating and adding a block of transaction to the blockchain network of Ethereum. It uses the proof of work consensus mechanism for mining Ethereum. All transactions taking place in the Ethereum network needs to get approved by the miner. Miners is a community of people using a hashing script eCash to solve computationally hard puzzles for successfully mining the blocks of transactions in the Ethereum blockchain network, which helps secure the network from attacks like hacking or manipulation of identity. Now let's understand why we need to mine Ethereum. The primary goal for mining Ethereum is to make money. Ethereum mining turns the act of securing the network into a relatively complex but profitable business. Also, miners receive a certain amount as a reward for mining each block of the Ethereum blockchain network including the transaction fees paid by the users. Thus, Ethereum mining benefits each and everyone participating in Ethereum blockchain network. So, what are the types of Ethereum mining? Ethereum mining can be performed in three ways. Ethereum solo mining, Ethereum pool mining, and Ethereum cloud mining. In Ethereum solo mining, you will get rewarded only if you solve the puzzle and mine the Ethereum block first. Since here you are competing with many people and companies, you have to be very good at your work. Also, solo mining is only profitable when you have plenty of resources with you, like 100 plus graphics cards. And in solo mining, having so much equipment may use a lot of electricity and space, leading to high electricity bills. And not everyone has a considerable amount of area needed. Ethereum pool mining is the easiest and fastest way to get started with Ethereum mining. In this, you work along with other people together in a single pool. And if someone from the pool gets the hash code correctly, they share the reward among everyone in the pool. We should consider a few important factors before joining a pool, like pool size, minimum payout, and pool fee. Pool size determines the number of blocks you find in the Ethereum network, and it shares rewards. As the number of miners increases, the chances to get rewards also increase. Minimum payout is the minimum amount of Ethereum you need to mine before it gets credited to your wallet. 
and pool fee is the amount you need to pay to continue using the pool. This amount is percentage based on the amount of Ethereum you're mining. Ethereum Cloud Mining, you pay someone else with the equipment to mine Ethereum for you. You pay some amount of money as fees to them for investing their time and resources. And in return, they provide you with the reward they gain by the mining Ethereum. But this technique of mining Ethereum has some pros and cons too. Pros, you are not responsible for any equipment damage. You don't have to acquire all the necessary equipment and look for ample space to store it. You can sit back, observe, market and enjoy the reward for your investment in Ethereum mining. Cons, if the Ethereum price drops, then there is no way you are getting your money back. The money you invested or the fees paid to the miner is lost. And you can't ask the other person to change the equipment according to your concern. Ethereum cloud mining is considered a safer way for mining service providers to guarantee a profit for the resource they have purchased. Now let's understand how the Ethereum mining process works. Ethereum mining follows a specific set of steps to function. Step 1. A user requests a transaction with the help of the private key of his digital wallet account. Then the request is shared worldwide with the Ethereum network. Next, the requested transaction is added to a list of pending transactions that needs to be added to the Ethereum blockchain network. Step 4. The miner then verifies and validates the requested transaction and perform a complex mathematical puzzle on the transaction data. Step 5. Once the request transaction is verified and it stores a copy of it in Ethereum, the process of proof of work begins for the respective block. Step 6. Then the nodes of the Ethereum network verify that the checksum of the state of the miner's block matches the checksum of the updated state of Ethereum after execution of all transactions. Step 7. Only after that, the block is added to the Ethereum blockchain network. Step 8. On successfully mining the block, it rewards the miner with some amount of Ether in their wallet. The block reward of Ethereum is 3 Ether. And step 9. The requested transaction is approved and credited to the respective wallet or wallet. Each transaction is mined only once, but every participant of the Ethereum network verifies it. This makes me curious about how to mine Ethereum. Tools you will need to be an efficient miner for Ethereum on your personal computer are an Ethereum wallet to store all your currency on, GPU drivers or graphics card with a minimum of 3 GB RAM, a mining software suitable according to your hardware like GPU, and a compatible operating system, Windows 7 or 10 with 64 bit. Before getting started with mining Ethereum, you need to create an Ethereum wallet to store all your Ether. Fresno Model T and Legend Nano are the most reliable and secure wallets in the market of cryptocurrency. Installing GPU drivers or graphics card after creating your digital wallet, you need to update all the hardware, that is, drives in your system. You can use two types of graphics cards. They are AMD graphics card and NVIDIA graphics card. Claymore is considered the best software for mining Ethereum on GPU drivers. Now, we need to follow a few sets of steps to get started with mining. Step 1. Download the latest version of Claymore Dual Miner for your operating system. The latest version is Claymore 11.0. Step 2. Click on the latest version for Windows and download the zip file. Step 3. Extract the file to Claymore 11.0 to a folder on the desktop for easy access. Open the folder to have a look at the file. Step 5. Right click on Start and then on the Edit option. Step 6. 
edit the start.txt file and add these lines. Step 7. Choose your desired pool from these recommendations. You can also find better search results than these according to your region. Step 8. Type in your pool address instead of mining pool address. Step 9. Save your start.txt file with your new updates. Remember, while saving, select type as all files. And step 10. Once you save, click on the clay.bat file to begin mining Ethereum. Now let's explore will the proof of stake transaction fail proof of work. The newly introduced concept of Ethereum 2.0 roadmap plans to upgrade to proof of stake consensus algorithm in which it will provide all existing miners of Ethereum network with a limited time to earn a return for their investment. This expected to be launched by the end of 2021 or the starting of 2022. It was supposed to be launched by October 2020 but the history of delays regarding this upgrade is worth talking about. Nobody truly knows when Ethereum 2.0 will be completed and introduced to the crypto mining world. Now, when we know all about Ethereum mining, this makes me wonder if Ethereum mining is profitable. The profit of any crypto mining majorly depends on the cost of electricity in that particular area. As a rule, anything below $0.12 per kilowatt consumed in an hour is considered profitable. You can mine ether and turn it into a vital source of income by analyzing these figures like hash rate of Ethereum, block reward, number of blocks per day, and the coin price of Ethereum. You can also use an Ethereum calculator to figure out the daily revenue, basing it on these factors. Or you can use this formula too. The predictions are made that the Ethereum price can rise and become more stable in the coming few years. So it is an excellent opportunity to invest in and save in Ethereum. So this is all about Ethereum mining. We have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on Ethereum mining and learned something new from it. If you like this video, then please do hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from CityLog. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.